Hey church family, I want to talk with you for just a few minutes about the daily examine. It's going to be an integral part of this press pause initiative that we're undertaking beginning tomorrow at noon and November 4th until November 15th and in 11 days of pausing our news feed. And the overarching goal of the press pause is that we would move away from the news and all the ways that it distracts us and divides us and fills up our headspace and that instead we would be able to move um, both towards God and towards loving our neighbors. And so one of the practices that we're hoping you're going to be willing to um, try out, just give it a shot, is called the daily examine. And the daily examine is a real simple method of reflecting on your day. And so I want you to pick a time at the end of your day, and maybe at dinner time, maybe in that space after dinner, maybe just before you go to sleep, and to carve out 10, maybe 15 minutes to spend some time with God, reflecting over the events of the day, your actions, the way that you've responded to others, and giving thanks to God for the highs, and repenting of, asking forgiveness for the lows, or asking for healing, and then anticipating the next day. There are just three simple phases of the daily exam. And the first is that you would just stop. And I encourage you um, to spend a couple moments just Letting your mind slow down, letting your body be still, listening to and looking for God, becoming aware of God's presence. Take a few deep breaths and then move into a time of examination of your day. Reflect back over the events beginning at the start of your day, through the day. Ask yourself some simple questions, the first of which is, when did I experience or seek connection with others? These are the high points I want you to look back on from your day. When did you love the people around you well? When did you reach out to them? When did you experience connection, meaningful connection with others? Thank God for those blessings. Praise him for his presence in that way. And then reflect also on the times throughout your day when you either experienced or even caused disconnection or division with the people around you. You can ask for forgiveness or for healing. The daily examine is a time to be honest with yourself about how you've been throughout that day, to be honest with God and to look for God's presence in and through those experiences and interactions. The promise is that God has been with you. And so the daily examine gives you a few minutes to think about where and how God was there. Where and how you embodied the fruit of the Spirit in your own life and interactions. And then the last part of the daily examine is to look forward to the next day. To think how you'll respond to these reflections you've just had. If you've been impatient, you can ask God for patience as you deal with those same people the next day. So to look forward to what will come and consider how God might be able to help you to come alongside you in the coming day's interaction. It's as simple as that. The, you can expect to take about 10 minutes, maybe 15, a quarter hour. St. Ignatius, who started the practice, said this quarter hour should be the best quarter hour of your day. It'll still feel weird probably at first, this intentional reflection looking back um, at sometimes very ordinary days and looking for evidence of God at work in those, inviting God to be at work in those, both in the day that has been and the day to come. I'm eager to hear how it goes for you, how you like it, um, how it begins to open up a new awareness for you and maybe some intentionality as you um, move towards um, better ways of loving your neighbors, of overcoming the division that is so prominent around us. Many blessings.